All right, guys, so welcome back. And as you can see, it looks like I've pulled some kind of a camping trailer out of a junkyard, and we're not too far off on that. So I've been doing a little bit of trading, and I ended up with this Team Raffi camping trailer that was built but not built and is uh, missing some pieces as I've gone through and watched videos on other people with this camper. Uh, I am definitely missing a couple pieces. So it has the tent top. And then this will sit down in there, but he's just got a mess of wire. And it has the, the racks for the tent. And then this piece here is supposed to slide in here from what I can tell. And there should be a second piece that goes in these two slots that folds back over it to help close it up and become the floor for the tent. And I am missing that piece, so I'm going to have to make something for that. But I, I think I can make this work. A little, a little bit of ingenuity. I think I can get it going. I use a piece of uh, either polystyrene or something. And you can see I got, I got some cleaning work to do in there. And of course it has to be repainted to match the D90. Everything's kind of loose and wonky on it. It should have a second one of these on this side. But I only have the one of these, and it looks like it's kind of bent up a bit. I'll have to see if I can fabricate a second one. And I know there should have been like a chain and pin system to hold that closed once you got the camper all closed up in it. And said, everything's just a little bit loose, loose and wonky. But I am going to start tearing this thing apart. I'm going to repaint it yellow and straighten out the issues and see if we can get a good looking camper for this D90. This is going to be my stopping point for now. I still have a lot more I want to do with it. I've got a bunch of accessories and stuff I'm wanting to get done with it, but I need to call it a, a stopping point on this for a second and finish up what I need to finish up on the Defender, get the rear bumper set up for the hitch and everything. Now, I wanted to... I know that this was a Team Raffi trailer and they had a specific design, but I was missing parts. So I kind of had to wing it and do my own thing. And when I got looking at it, I, I liked this setup. So if I set it up like this on the interior, I can set my figures in there and they can actually sit down. And it's, you know, they've almost got a, a seat in there for them. There you can see it. And then on this side, I'm going to do the bedding. I'm going to put some bed rolls and some material over there. And the other problem was not only was I missing the folding platforms, I was missing tie downs as well. So on this end, I had to make my own hook because this was just a strap hanging down. And uh, so I did that out of a picture hanging hook. 
I put that through there and sewed it onto the strap and put some heat shrink on it and that worked pretty good. And then on this side, there was none whatsoever. So I took some pieces of two millimeter bungee cord and I went ahead and uh, sewed those onto those tabs so that would pull up into there. And my sewing skills are marginal at best. And then I've made that one there. So after that, I ended up adding a couple of places to little metal rings down here so I can attach on this end with these ones. That's a noisy thing. And I didn't attach it through there so I can pull the whole top off of it, fold it up, stick it in the middle, fold all these down, and then bring this closed. And there we go. We're all folded back up. And I am going to make some kind of a, another pin for this to keep this from collapsing in more. The suspensions work. I like how the suspension works on this. It actually has a pretty decent little suspension on it for just being a trailer. But I think it's looking pretty daggone good. Uh, I think it's going to pull nice, and it's certainly going to look great on the back of the Defender. Oh. Give you an idea you know more, more of the scale of it that's a six inch figure and this is gonna be the end and wrap it up i i hope you like what i've done so far i'm gonna keep working on it i'm gonna get this filled with accessories and put bungee cords over the racks and do the interior up more but right now i want to get uh the rest of the stuff buttoned up on the defender and a good place for this to mount it on the back bumper i need to build still so I will catch you then. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following the series. And thank you, Sean, for putting this on at Sean's RC Adventures. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. And just stay tuned because we're in November now. This thing's wrapping up in December sometime. So it's getting close.